This book, The Art of Gathering, is a book that our team shared uh, about a year and a half ago. And so this is a quote from that. Thanks. Why do we gather? We gather to honor and acknowledge. So we begin by acknowledging with humility that the land where we are today is the territory of the people of the Salish Sea. If you spend time around Indian country, you, you begin to learn that we love to talk, we love to visit, and we love to share. And um, We gather to solve problems we can't solve on our own. But I'm gonna um, close with a prayer. Creator, grandfather, grandmother, I wanna say a special prayer for this group in this room. Just thank them for coming together for a mission. We gather to make decisions. It was a great opportunity to actually see the dial move. This was an incubator for ideas that could provide uh, a lot of changes in the healthcare system. We gather because we need one another. I was just like so happy there was a space for um, people of color to really just talk about the hardships that was going on during 2020. I'm nervous. <laughs> a lot of times I feel out of place, but today I feel I'm in the right place. Um, thank you. I, I, I like to start with my vulnerabilities because if I'm able to do that, then I know that I'm speaking from the heart. We gather to show strength. This kind of power that is shared is, is going to disrupt oppression. Those courts swallow many of our youth, men and women, and they go into human landfills across the state called prisons. We gather to build companies and schools and neighborhoods. Culture is relevant to all aspects of health, and not just our physical health, but our mental health, spiritual, emotional, and physical. Belonging should be the big B because it's the umbrella term under which the diversity, equity, and inclusion should fall under. It should be the central thing that we focus on. Prisons are a direct reflection of our public school systems. Our kids at home and at schools, we teach them very early on that they can be thrown away. And when schools do throw our kids away, who is there for them? The streets. So what we're about to do is talk about who we've been, who we are now, and who we might become. Being a part of this collaborative action network, this network of providers, will change you. It will change who you are, it will change your trajectory in life, and it will change your organization, and it will change the communities that we serve. Because we're all coming together with a common mission, and that is to boldly go into the darkness of the people who are still suffering, unapologetically rip them out, and provide them with the resources that they need to be able to sustain and survive and thrive in their life. And if all of us in this room can share in that same mission, and unapologetically love, then there's nothing in this world that can fucking stop us. Mm -hmm.